after cleaning up significant mess here. The uh, the real man's ups starts with uh, 100 amp hours of deep cycle and the uh, wonderful pyramid brand uh, 30 amp 13.8 uh, power supply run into this magic little guy here which manages charging and switching of the current this is the uh, DC power breakout everything is 12 volt um, you see here these computers do not have regular power supplies instead they have this uh, neat little doohickey which uh, I think you can see right here if I move some cables yes this guy that is an entire uh, ATX power supply that just sticks off the connector runs off 12 volts good for about 80 100 watts or so which is fine when you're running an atom processor uh, a couple of things that won't run off of a uh, 12 volt is uh, this guy had a funny power supply with like a four pin connector and uh, this guy of course uh, didn't have like a redundant power supply input so I've got that and the PoE injector uh, those all run off of the uh, 300 watt inverter here which should be uh, up to the task hopefully continuous operation don't know but uh, we'll find out I guess same with the, uh, the the 30 amp power supply but but when one of them fails I shouldn't know for at least I don't know a figure half a day so yeah it's the, uh, see it's the voltage coming off of the uh, this guy right here and that's fully loaded up the red light indicates that it's charging the battery uh, let's see the uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed the battery terminal voltage let's see. there we go oh nope come on there we go whoops 12.8 and slowly climbing if I could actually keep the uh, terminal straight yep slowly climbing as it charges so yeah that's it the real deal who knows how long the battery will actually last for but It'll be fun finding out. So.